All right, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Lineage 2 bot. It's L2 Tower. It's a European bot, but European works on English, North American servers, so it's not a big deal. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to go ahead and just start with the basics. You're going to need to go to your control panel on your computer, because you need to do this later. You're going to want to go to uh, Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options. You're going to go to View. You're going to turn Show Hidden Files on right here. And you're going to choose to uncheck this one. You want that unchecked because you have to change the file extension in a second. So once you get those bad boys done, you're going to, you're going to need to go and open up a new Firefox browser or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And you want to go to www.l2tower.eu. It's a European website. It's in English, don't worry. In case you guys didn't notice, it's, no, they speak English there. You're going to want to register an account. I'll have fun, Jazz. Yeah, you know, agree. I would create an account, but I already have one, so we're just going to go ahead and log in right fast. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can remember what my password was. <laughs> Not now. Alright, you log in there, and then you're going to go to... Uh, Help Tutorials FAQ. You're going to go to NC Soft West. You're going to click on this. You're going to download this bad boy. Whatever you use, I use Orbit. Downloads really fast, so if you guys want to, use Orbit. Go ahead and finish downloading that. You're going to find it, wherever it is. Take that bad boy, drag and drop it. Or you can open it. Drag and drop it to the desktop because it's easier to keep them all in one spot. So you got that right there. Then you're going to go back to this website. You want to go ahead and go to download here. It's going to download the zip file right here. You're going to go ahead and hit OK. And all that fun jazz. You're going to download all that fun jazz. And once you finish that, you can go ahead and exit this out. You really don't need it anymore. Once you do that, you'll have the zip folder. And you'll have this RAR here. You're going to double click this. It's going to, this is your bot right here. Right here. So, what I did is I went ahead and just created a uh, file on my desktop for the bot itself so that way it's right here so that way when I uh, need to use the bot I can just go into this instead of having to unzip it all the time so if what you're going to do is you want to just extract to uh, whatever folder you want to make you can make it whatever you want doesn't matter <clears throat> and once you have that extracted just leave it there in its folder and then you're going to want to go to your file browser of choice, and you're going to go to your wherever you store the game at. You want to go to your program files. You're going to want to go to, I'm pretty sure it's NCSoft, right? Where are you? Yeah, NCSoft. <clears throat> go to Lineage 2. Go to Systems. And you're going to delete Game Guard. So just hit Delete, yep. I can't do it because I have the game running, so you're going to delete Game Guard. So you're going to delete Game Guard right here. And then you're going to scroll down. You're going to look for. Uh, there's going to be a, a Game Guard. And there's going to be another Game Guard folder uh, file down here. <coughs> you're going to go ahead and delete that one too. I can't remember what it's called, but it's going to be Game Guard. Something. Wherever it is, just delete it. Doesn't matter. Just delete it. And then once you deleted that, those two, you're going to find your. Uh, Alright, it's going to be uh, l2.bin, and then what you're going to do, so it's going to look like, it's going to look like, uh, it's look like that. What you do is you're going to do is you're going to want to right click it, rename, change the bin to exe, so it looks like just like it does here. And then, once you're done with that, go ahead and, you can do this actually, you can copy and paste this, copy that, exit this, go back to the first file we downloaded, and say extract files, and then just paste in the extension, and then hit OK. You hit yes to all. I cannot because I already have the game running. Then once that's installed, you can go ahead and uh, come to the bot, launch it. I already have an instance running, so let me just pull it up right fast. Once you've launched the bot, it's going to update, so don't worry about that. It will update. And let's put the bot up over here. This is the bot right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the basics, 
<clears throat> you're going to hit select. So you're looking for the file. And that's this is another reason why you need that link. You just go ahead and copy and paste the link into there. Hit open. And it's going to put the, put the exe in there that you need. So you shouldn't have to worry about it. And then you want to go to license. Type in your form name and uh, your form password. And hit create free license. And then once you've done that, the bot is ready to go. And all you have to do is uh, hit run eject times one. That'll open one game and, and put the bot into one game. Two, four, two, two, three, and four subsequently as well. Or you can use inject to all games in the Windows in case you have like 40 of them going. You just hit that bad boy, boom, 40 bots rolling. That's all you need to know. Once you get that done, you just log into the game. And when you get in the game, a big thing will pop up on the screen. It'll say type in double backslash CFG. And once you do that, it opens the bot up. And then from there, you can figure the way you want the bot to run and whatnot. In my next video, I'm going to go ahead and get into how you set the bot to do what you want it to do and, wh and wh how I use it. So. We'll, we'll do that in the next video. So this is just how to set it up. <clears throat> so check out the next one.